Hello everybody and welcome to Clear Path Guidance in Tarot. This is your monthly love reading for the sign of Virgo for the month of September. I've decided to use the um, Lenormand deck this month. I haven't used it for a while and I, I need to brush up on it. So I thought, ah, you know what, I'll get switched up a little bit and then one card will fall out of Doreen Virtue's Romance Angels. All right, if, any, if anyone here is new to my channel, uh, the way I do my readings personal readings and private readings is I read energy and I read people's emotions and feelings. So it's called reading people. So I'm called what's a clairsentient. It's it's a heightened form of empathy. So if you are getting a private reading from me, what I do is I pick up on your feelings, your emotions and their feelings and emotions. So if you are having problems with trying to read somebody and you don't know where they're at, I mean, if, if I feel like they're in love, I pick that up, that they're in love. If I feel like they're angry, I pick that up. You know, a lot of times they'll say, why are they angry? Because I feel someone is very, why I feel they're very angry here, or I feel they're, they're very happy or they're lighthearted. So that's how I do my readings. That's where I do my best work. That's where I shine. I like to think I'm the, the relationship expert. That's what I do is I like to read people and that comes to be to me very naturally. I would like, to, I, uh, I'm about 90% accurate when it comes to being able to read people in a reading. Okay. So typically when I do a reading, I will, when I shuffle cards, I let one card fall out at a time when I do the readings with the Lenormand deck, I'm going to let the first card fall out. And after that, I will just add the numbers and you'll see what I mean. So what are the messages for Virgo for the month of September, Virgo, month of September, Virgo, month of September, Virgo, month of September. Okay, so see more than one card falls out, so I don't pick them up. Oh, sorry, I don't put them down. I just want one card at a time. Okay. All right, so that's them in the relationship, number 14. So the next card is going to be, I'm going to put 13 cards down and the 14th one is going to be um, you. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. This is you. Okay, now the outcome is going to be the 18th card. I'm going to give it a little shuffle. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Okay. All right. So the very first card is them. And that is the fox. So it's number 14. And the fox represents, um, it's traditionally someone that you don't trust. That's probably not on your side, unreliable, manipulative, and they're pretty, pretty much out for themselves. Okay. So I don't know if you're in a relationship right now, um, with somebody like this that you're not trusting. All right. Traditionally, this is someone that you don't trust. Okay. They're not on your side and they can be very unreliable. All right. So now if close to partner. Okay. So, so what this is here is, um, it could be a Gemini, Sagittarius or Leo. All right. That's what it speaks about. Um, Okay, further away the okay, more for the person's close. Okay, so this can be this person can be a liar. All right? Because this is you. I'm reading my instructions here regarding this card. If this card was way down here, then they would they're more truthful when they're next to you, they're a liar. Okay? So they, this curse like this card this mm, it's just saying to be careful this month, okay? Whoever you're involved with is not very honest. Okay? But then there's you. This is you in the relationship, number 18. That's you in the spread, I mean. So you represent, this dog represents you. What is a dog? Okay, a dog is faithful, loyal, 
someone in your cor- corner, someone fighting for you. It's a long-term card. Are you in this relationship with this person? And they are not very trustworthy, but you're still there. You are loyal. Okay. It's all the positive attributes of a dog. Loyal, friend, someone who's willing to protect you. Okay. All right. So that is you still loyal to this person. Now we have the advice card, which is number 24. Uh, This card is always positive. It's about love, happiness, helpfulness, joy, humility, health, good looking, someone who's good looking. This person might be good looking. Um, It's about compromising, being empathetic and loving. All right. So um, the advice for this month is, do you guys need to be compromising here? I don't think you need to. I think this person needs to be a little bit more compromising. All right. Doesn't sound like this person is, is going to be very truthful this month to you. Okay. This is the, this card is saying that this is the path you need to go to, to the end of. All right. So it could be your, it could be your karmic path. It could be saying that, that, and this is just for the month, right? So this is saying that Whatever happens here for the month, you're destined to go through it for a reason. Okay. All right. You're destined to go through it. It's probably your karmic path. Now, what I do is I add all cards up to get for the final card, which is going to be the final outcome. So I have one and four is five. One and eight is nine. So that's 14. Okay. Now I have 14 and then I have 24. So two and four is six and four. uh, Hold on. One and four is five, eight and one is nine. So that's 14 and six, right? So 14, I'm going to reduce that down to five and six is 11. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. All right. Final outcome. We have the flowers. And the flowers are, they're a positive card. All right. Um, This is about healing. It's about fun times, happy times. So at the end of the month, you might be going through a rough patch with this person here. Okay. You got to get through it. When you get through it, this is saying you're going to have some fun times, happy times. All right. Um, Having fun with friends, having fun with this person. Okay, uh, could enga- it could indicate engagement, and it's a it's a positive, romantic, sympathetic card. Okay, it talks about positivity, being romantic, sympathetic. All right, and that this is the role you need to take to succeed in a situation perhaps be lighthearted. All right. So go through this. I feel once you get through this, the end of the month will work out at the end. Okay. Okay. So now I'm going to let one card fall out from Dorian Virtues, Romance Angels. What are the messages for Virgo for the month of September? Virgo for the month of September. Virgo for the month of September. Virgo for the month of September. What is the message for Virgo for the Oops. Two cards fill out and put those back. Virgo for the month of September. And you know, and this person here might not be telling terrible, terrible lies. It could be white lies. You know, um, sometimes people tell lies to save some, you know, save something, save someone from overreacting. You know, all right. Okay. Who just got this? Someone else got this one. Finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. All right. So this person, somebody here could be a little bit too busy this month um, with work, worried about money. And so it's just telling you that maybe you need to focus less on your career. And trying to have a little more fun 
Maybe you're, maybe this person here is lying or being deceptful about their finances, career perhaps. Okay. All right. So that is your reading for all of you Virgos out there. I really hope you enjoy this reading. I hope that it resonates with you. If not, email me. I'll get back to you within 24 hours and I'll have a reading to you within 48 hours. All right. I hope you enjoy the video and thank you for watching and have a great month. Bye-bye.